Okay, so how we start off is, first off, you want to make sure your makeup is basically prepared. And I like to pre prepare my makeup, uh, starting off with a little bit of whiskey. That's right. As a matter of fact, bullet right here. We're actually going to have a uh, another video. Would come with Masterpiece Theater and and enjoy uh, Goss and their whiskey, all of types of whiskey. I'm going to use finish up the rest of this bottle right now. And uh, tomorrow we'll have like various sorts of other ones. That'd be fun, right? Anyways, I wish. Yes. Okay. Let's begin. All right. The first thing I like to uh, apply on is uh, the NYX Soft Focus, and what it does is it helps uh, keep the shine down from uh, lights and uh, anything else. Like you know, if someone takes a picture of you, you just want to not have like certain areas just glaring out. So, um, that's this. That's right there. And if you couldn't tell, I've used almost all of it. Oh my god. Almost gone. And uh, you can't see my reflection because I'm a vampire, obviously. Anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and start off with this. Now what this does is it gives a nice uh, matte base for the rest of your foundation, which is what I like to uh, start off with. And next, uh, what I like to do is put uh, some uh, eyeshadow base. This is also NYX. Let's see if we can get the focus. Maybe. Maybe if it gets this. As close as we can get. Alright, good. Now, what this does, at least for me, is it allows uh, the eyeshadow to. Uh, go on easier and stay on without just kind of dusting off. Next, um, probably a lot of people don't do this, but I do because I do um, a lot of a uh, pale or white makeup foundation. So I like to start off and uh, let's see, this brand is kind of old, but I really do like it. Uh, it's a light blue. Don't even know if you can tell. Not at all. Yep. Well, anyways, you have to trust me on this. Uh, the the brand is called Celebre, not Tenebre, which is me. Um, but the what I like to do is I take the light the light blue, and I apply that to um, areas that are being erased. You know, I, I also apply the same technique with that painting too. So the top areas are going to be the highlighted areas. So. Go for it. You know, fuck it, I will. Um, normally what I would be doing is uh, I would be mixing my foundation. What I like to do is uh, mix, uh, like for example, L'Oreal True Match, and it comes in uh, the palest, and it's like a porcelain W1. Uh, and then I add a little bit of Manic Panic uh, Dream Tone, which is pure white. Mix it together and gives a really pale look. I still have this really clown makeup on me, so I should probably fix that. Your best applicator you want to do is uh, use one of these egg sponges. They are a godsend. And I don't know what I would do with that one because 
Definitely need a so fucking awesome. So, first off, and this is a uh, one of my favorite foundations, by the way. It is called uh, Illamasqua. It comes in a uh, pure, pure white, and I don't think we can even get a focus in on this. Why don't you focus? Boom! All right, there we go. And I want to thank. Uh, it's Black Friday. Uh, basically, her tutorials are uh, basically what got me to uh, do better in my makeup. So, fucking shout out there. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and try this. By the way, the stuff does come in uh, very quick. So, she's got to be careful. But uh, a little bit goes a long way. And uh, I'm going pure white tonight, so fuck that noise. want to put it on your hands is a good place to uh, do mixing, especially if you're going to get uh, like tighter areas like inside the corner of your eyes. And uh, the nose area, that's the fun part. I never worry about getting it on uh, the nose ring because basically most of the foundation just kind of wipes off, so there we go. Try to get it in there to uh, my roots, and yes, they are white. Really natural white. It's kind of strange. It's nice though. I'm used to having like three mirrors, like a mirror to the side, you know, kind of folded and center mirror, so it's, I have to lift the mirror off the side, off screen. Daddy needs a little sauce. It's good. Now, one of the things I like to do is uh, especially for the back of the head and neck in these areas. It says I will not use the Illamasqua foundation because you know I don't want to waste all of it on there, and I'll use the cheaper Manic Panic stuff once again on the wrist, just so I can get these areas blended out more. Now normally I would actually go down my neck. But uh, I won't have to worry about this because this thing actually has a high collar, so it's probably going to cover up most of it. It doesn't really matter. Cue the music. Anyways, uh, so next up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add powder. And uh, when you do powder, it's always useful. Cover up, because the powder goes everywhere. Now the powder I'm going to be using is a little combination. Uh, the loose powder is a Ben Nye Super White Super White as well as um, NYX, and that is actually the, the finishing uh, powder. 
also comes in white. Obviously. It's a little mixture of both. All right, so uh, what I did there was I had moved the light a little bit. Didn't change it that much, unfortunately. Um, but I also put my hair up. Uh, that way I can actually um, get to my eyebrows as well as my eyes and my cheeks like that. You can see them a little bit better. Still not into focus. I wish focus into me. Look into me. Very good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, eyeshadow. And what I'd like to start off with uh, is MAC. MAC makes this really... Actually, they make a lot of great uh, um, makeup. But I like to use uh, their uh, the Ash Gray. And you know what? I actually don't know the name of it right now. I uh, can't even look at it at the moment because the lighting sucks. But I'll tell you later. Maybe I'll write it down. Um, look down below. I can tell you uh, what type of uh, makeup. Actually, I'll probably list up all, all the types of makeup that I, I put in there. But what I like to do is uh, do a little bit. Always tap it so you don't have like excess. And uh, you want to follow the crease line right there. And what happens is that. Uh, it goes on very well. Well, it, it goes on better because of the, the the eyeshadow base. So that you put on earlier. Get down little crooks in the eye. And you want to go down and put a lower lid. Or at least I like to. See, right now is what you're doing is creating a little bit uh, dimension, you know, more uh, 3D effect with your eyes. Actually, what I'm doing is like a more sunken in look, vampiristic, which is totally fine by me. Now this is a little thing I like to use, and most people don't even know what this is or what it looks like, but it's a kind of a, a eyeshadow guard, and it's really great um, to get to like the right area of uh, where you want to uh, create that uh, angle. So you can do it right here, and what's good is it allows you to be a little bit carefree with the eyeshadow and make a nice curve. I'm probably not making a nice curve of it, but you know, you'll probably do better without doing it in the video. I think I already kind of fucked up, but.
voila, or whatever. Anyways, we're back. Um, one of the things I like to do is like take this brush and kind of tip the, the get the tip wet just a little bit, scrape off any excess water. And what I'm using is a La Femme, which is a, a nice black um, eyeshadow. And what all? And this is. Let's see if you can see it. And there's the price. Oh, so cheap. We'll do this with the cap. Can we see it? We'll see if we can focus in. Hello. Probably as good as we can get. Anyways, good enough. Tick the wet brush. Once again, um, I'm using techniques that I, I use uh, while painting miniatures. Anyways, uh, I like to get just a tip, just a tip of the brush with a little bit of uh, the powdered on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line the eyes with it. I'm going to basically draw like a little bit above the eyelid. So you can see. My on is uh, let's see if we can get this. Is this wonderful thing once again? I have to thank the wonderful and beautiful um, Black Friday uh, who introduced um, people to this and this Black Buster is an awesome. Uh, pen is just look how I drop it look it is fabulous look how thick this pen is it's really great to get uh, really thick lines so if you want to start it off and in fact I just got it on my hands too magic all right so this is the complete outfit um, hair is already done makeup and even got my leather. Actually, this is stuff that I, I kind of just thrown together. I mean, did a little bit of leather working. Not an expert at it, but you know, fucking black metal, man. Anyways, I think it looks all right and kind of goes with the rest of the outfit. And I still see this powder I can't get rid of. Ugh. Anyways. And if I can move the chair, maybe I can get the whole view. Maybe not. Let's try this one more time. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? All right. Here's the outfit, and this is what I'm going to be using. And thank you, everybody, for all two of you for watching. And perhaps I'll do another video, better video, and maybe I can get the lighting and the mirror much better. And you can say, "Oh, damn! What a difference!" And I'll be like, "Fuck yeah, it is." Anyways. Thanks a lot, and uh, catch you guys later. Bye.